one human world after another fell. When my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified? A lot of times, we always blame ourselves for things that are happening to us. Um, you know, when people talk bad about us or people talk mess about us, people that say something to us and they try to hurt our feelings to where we didn't do nothing wrong. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. We. We always get blamed for something that's not even our fault. But I am here to tell you that it's not your fault. Just because somebody takes their anger out on you or say something that hurts your feelings is just because you are doing something right. It takes me a while to realize that, but this is a message for a lot of people. You are doing good in your life. You are living your life the way that you are trying to live it. And God is going to set you on a route to become better. But a lot of people ain't going to see it that way. A lot of people are going to see it to where you are getting away from something that they are used to. And that's not the case. God will set you on a route to get greater rewards. He's not going to keep you in one place. And a lot of folks don't understand that. It is not your fault that people are hypocrites. It is not your fault that people don't have the life that they always wanted. And it is not your fault that people are stuck in a, in a dangerous condition. Nothing is your fault. It is not your fault that you retaliate for something that somebody is trying to put negativity on your life and try to put evil on your life. It's not your fault that you retaliate just by sending somebody a Bible scripture or trying to make a point. So, nothing is your fault. The devil will come in and make it believe that it is your fault. That it's your fault that this person is the way it is now. It's your fault that we're in this list now. It's your fault that you were born. Don't believe that stupidity. And don't beat yourself up for the actions that you take because guess what? You have already made them. You have made those points. You have made those actions. And So many times I've seen a lot of people that always blame themselves or kill themselves because they thinking that they do not matter or that something was their fault and they feel like they can't go on with it. I just feel like we gotta do better, but I'm releasing this message now to let all of you know that just because you're doing something good in your life does not mean that it's your fault. It's your intention to do something good. It's made for you to do something good. So continue to do the right thing. And understand that whatever people say, and whatever people say or do or talk about you, and you have no explanation whatsoever on the reason why they are bothering you. The one reason is they are jealous of you, they're seeing you doing something that they wish they had done. So I ask you this, are you going to continue to blame yourself or are you going to turn your life around and say that it's not your fault? Because the honest truth is it's not. You are just living your life. Continue to trust in God because God says it's not your fault. Don't let people steer you down. 
And don't let what happened in your life steal you down. It's not your fault. Go and live your life. Oh.